Hi, happy 2023, and let's talk about why it is ill-advised to make a lowball offer on a bank-owned foreclosure. So uh, there are a lot of folks who uh, think that it's a great idea to buy a bank-owned foreclosure. I don't disagree. Uh, this company has represented banks in the liquidation of their non-performing assets, as we call them, REOs, real estate owned, for nearly 10 years. And our experience with distressed properties is very, very extensive. Um, so let me explain the process of what happens between that first defaulted payment and when the house finally hits the market uh, to shed some light on why a lowball offer is a complete waste of time, Okay. So the first time a payment, a mortgage payment is missed, the bank is going to, the lender is going to order something called a exterior BPO. That is a broker price opinion. And it is the guy that comes, parks at the curb, takes a few pictures of the house, and then submits a, um, a uh, estimate of value to the lender. As the foreclosure process uh, matures, goes through the, continuing defaulted payments. Uh, New York is a judicial state, so they'll go through the courts. Every month, if not more frequently, another occupancy check and valuation is going to be submitted to the lender. So after about a year, the lender is going to have probably about 12 or 13 reports on the property, on its condition. If the... Um, borrower has been evicted or uh, they've abandoned the property, then the bank is going to take steps to secure, winterize, relock the doors and everything like that. And we will then start doing interior valuations. These are like appraisals. Uh, we don't call them appraisals unless an appraiser actually submits an appraisal report, but these are like appraisals where we're going to you know, send photos, floor plans, condition reports, everything like that to make sure that the decision makers at the bank understand the exact condition of the property and where it fits in terms of market value based on that week's um, current market conditions. Um, at some point when the final foreclosure uh, judgment is rendered by the courts, uh, the property will go up for auction. Um, most of the time it is not uh, sold at auction and it reverts back to the ownership of the lender and the lender will then list it with an REO broker like us. So at that point, this property has been passed on by institutional investors. They've said no thanks. It has been valued both interior, exterior very thoroughly dozens of times and it has been in the system going through fairly extensive scrutiny by the lender for years. So we know within one or 2% how the market will perform. So by the time that property hits the market, it has been more thoroughly valued than almost any other type of property that you'll find out there. And that is why making a low ball offer, uh, you know, 300,000 on a 400,000 ask, 420 on a $500,000 ask. That's why you're not even going to get an answer. And if you do get an answer, it's just going to be a no. The asset manager who's the decision maker at the bank is not going to bother. The listing agent is going to be too busy to be too much of a diplomat. And um, they're going to be a little worried that if they do engage this buyer that um, you know they're a little bit too much of an amateur to actually perform because a real savvy investor is going to take the advice of uh, an experienced agent on valuation. So I hope that helps. Do understand if you want to make a low bull offer because, hey, you never know. Actually, <laughs> we do know. We do know. We've been scrutinizing and thoroughly evaluating this property for years by the time it hit the market. And that is why we know that the low bull offer is a waste of time. So word to the wise, here's to a good 2023. I hope you can get that deal. But do listen to your agent and do understand that you're not going to be able to steal something. Okay, there's just too much activity out there and your low bull offer won't be accepted and someone else will come in with a more realistic offer and get the deal. We want you to be the one to get the deal. Best of luck.